I'm going to show you how to put the placket in that is recommended with the dolly pattern by a wink and a nod. Uh, it's real easy. The diagram that is included in the pattern is really good. The directions are very clear, and if you just follow them, I'm going to just kind of go step by step by what they've said. All right, the first thing you need to do on the right side of your fabric, um, you need to draw um, the slash line, which is this line right here. And it, I think this one is a probably 8 to 10 inches long. You can make your placket as deep as you'd like to. And after you draw this center back line, which is this line right here on my fabric, um, I used a ruler kind of like this one that has perpendicular lines. And then I lined up um, and drew a line perpendicular I just lined up a straight line there, got it on the line, and drew another line across the bottom perpendicular, and that is the opening depth line. That way you know where to stop everything. Um, after you've drawn the center line, I mean not the, well, the center slash line, then draw another line one-fourth of an inch on each side of that. And that's this line right here and this line right here, and those are shown right here on um, the sample. After that, measure a three-fourths of an inch over and draw another line. This one on the left and this one on the right. And that's just like these lines. These are labeled second fold lines. After that, the last lines you draw are the, are the ones that are three-eighths of an inch over from this last line that you drew. And um, then you're through drawing lines. All right, the next step after you've done all the line marking is to slash on the center back line down to the opening depth line. And that's where I slit with the scissors all the way down. All right, after you slit all the way down, stopping right here, the instructions tell you, and it's labeled very clearly, on the right side, you cut over on the depth line one fourth of an inch right here. This is where I clipped, right here. And on the left side, you clip the fourth of an inch, just like the instructions say, a fourth of an inch plus the three-fourths of an inch. So you're cutting a whole inch on the left and only a quarter of an inch on the right. Next step is to turn the right side under, and you've, you've turned back right to where you clipped, and on the left side, you turn under the quarter inch and press it, and then you turn under the three quarter inch. And so now you have just a big rectangle that's cut out right here. Looks kind of strange, but it works. All right, the next step is on the right side to fold on the second fold line. And when you fold on that, you're, you have fabric that's not cut here, so that's fine. That's going to make your pleat. And you bring this fold line all the way over. And the 3 8 line, that, the last line that you drew here and here, are your left center back and right center back. And those center backs have to line up over each other. So you bring it over and line up, and you can just kind of turn it over and kind of look. I usually kind of take a pin and stick it in here so I know I've got them lined up right. All right, there it is on that line. And pin it. So my center back lines are lined up and it made a lap. And down here it's the same thing. Here's the center back line and here's the center back line. And we're going to line them up again just looking to make sure they're over each other. All right, and it looks like this. And you can kind of see what it's gonna look like when it's finished. All right, now is the time that you turn it to the wrong side. And when you turn it to the wrong side, whoops, I pinned the whole thing here. Let's see, now. You turn it over to this side and it looks like this on the reverse. You have this pleat and all this is loose. Now I'm gonna go to another piece that I have so you can see this. All right, you can see that this right here is this. And it has been stitched in red, but the way I stitched it, first of all, I turned it up like this. 
and you can see on both sides and then I put a pin through all of this take it to the sewing machine put it in the sewing machine and start stitching you can either stitch from this end over to um, this line that is the second fold line or you can start here and go across but you want to catch everything in the raw edges all the way over on both sides and you and you can see I didn't catch this real well right here I should have probably done this again but this is what holds it in place all right after that is done it looks like this on the back you can see this one has this is my, my stitching right here I turn it to the front and again I put a pin through all the thicknesses and I start stitching about an eighth of an inch below the zigzag and I like to stitch from the right side just so I know I'm getting it straight and I can see what I'm doing start right at the edge of your placket and sew all the way over and if you if I could see through this fabric but if you couldn't see through it you could also put another pin wait a minute, right right here because you can feel through and you would know exactly um, where to stop and that finishes it and then all you have to do is press this pleat that's formed this would be the, the rest of your skirt and it has a nice pleat in it and then your placket is all set and nice and pretty right here and your buttons go on the left side and your button holes go right here on the right side and voila you have the placket I think that probably the common mistake that people make when they try to do this and they think it's hard to do is they maybe don't notice up here that it says front side of fabric and you work from the front until you get everything folded and turned and then you turn it to the back to do your stitching. That was the problem I had years ago when I did this placket with another a totally different pattern not a wink and a nod but a different one and it was a nightmare to me and I bumbled through it but um, this little piece of paper that comes with the pattern is gold <laughs> it's wonderful and that's you know it, it's made it very easy for me and I like it because it's very neat and very finished looking